And while we are busy tracking the vaccine updates, here's one thing we cannot forget. The threat from the Wuhan virus is far from over. Our next report gives you two reasons why we absolutely cannot afford to let our guards down. First, the virus may be spreading from sectors where we least imagined. And second, there are people who may be trying to deliberately contaminate you. Take a look. There are no cars in the parking zone of the Shanghai Pudong International Airport. Only a growing line of people in PPE kits waiting for their turn to be tested for the Wuhan virus. These are all airport workers. Over the weekend, Shanghai's biggest international airport was caught in chaos. At least seven cargo handlers were linked to a COVID outbreak in the city. So in order to contain the cluster, authorities asked all cargo staff to take Wuhan virus tests. But no provisions were made for social distancing. The result looks something like this. And it did not go unnoticed by social media. An admission from the Shanghai authorities made matters worse. None of them wore masks when they were doing the cleaning work. At least 17,719 samples were collected as of November 23rd. Of them, 11,544 samples were tested. The results were all negative. Aviation data provider Veriflight claimed that at least 40% of flights from Shanghai were cancelled. The Shanghai episode has cast a shadow over the already ravaged aviation industry. Here's what else will now be viewed with added caution. Letters Interpol has warned that world leaders could become targets of COVID-contaminated letters. On the 17th of November, Interpol issued the latest guidelines for law enforcement. The police organization flagged three risks. First, of individuals spitting and coughing in the faces of law enforcement officers, health practitioners and essential workers in order to intimidate them. Second, attempts to deliberately contaminate surfaces and objects. And third, contaminated letters targeting political figures. Interpol added that infected individuals may deliberately move from affected areas to non-affected areas. With individuals trying to take advantage of a health crisis, deliberate contamination is the latest threat. There is a greater need now to stay alert, to stay safe. Bureau report, Vion, World is One.